finalizar. 12 1 de la noche. What remembrance do you have about your favorite teacher at the elementary or high school? Hello from Suyana. I'm Nelson Peñarrera Castillo. In my case, two of them have involved indirectly on this podcast. In Peru today is October 21st, 2023. This is Live Connection. Subscribe to my updates. Like, comment, and share this content. When somebody asks me when and where I learned to speak in English, my answer is ever the same. It's a lifetime learning. First, I like English. Educators say the preferences are the first good step to learn whatever you want. Second, my school put special attention to teaching that language. At this point, it's a good time for sharing you a beautiful story. It involves two of my teachers and a famous magazine. Daniel Talledo was an English teacher at Santa Rosa School here in Suyana. He ever told his approach into that language was in Talara, that is located 50 miles to the northwest of this sound stage. Since 1890, an oil and gas deposit has been, uh, has been exploited there. The operations were in charge of American engineers and technicians. Mr. Talledo learned English working with them. And this is the first tip. It's better to learn any language you want to speak if you speak with native speakers. Tajido became my English teacher since 1987. That was the year I began my high school. It was an elementary year. I was, a, I was a good English student, and Tajido realized so. During the resting times at school, one of my favorite places was the library. I knew every book inside it. Yes, it was a kind, or I was a kind of a library rat. Miss Consuelo Cruz was the librarian. She was our Catholic religion teacher at Santa Rosa School too, here in Suyana. That was in elementary. The point is, Miss Cruz became our friend, our, our mentor. My favorite books, science, encyclopedias, geography, history. Many subjects that define my specializations in journalism years later. Once upon a morning in 1990, I discovered something unusual at the library. A copybook size magazine, yellow frame cover, an amazing photo in there and the headlines in English. It was the National Geographic magazine. I knew some words, so I understood the story. The rest was looking at the photos and the graphics. My interest for science made remaining. The problem is these magazines were only for reading at the school. Other books could be requested for reading at home, but the National Geographic's no way. Once upon a morning, I was in the library. Then Miss Cruz summoned me. She notified me it could lend the National Geographic for home reading. Imagine what I felt. The editions came my home many weekends. As we had a little bilingual dictionary, I could understand much more. So I traveled from Japan to Australia, from Canada to Mexico, from Gran Canaima in Venezuela to Machu Picchu in Peru, I went everywhere not going out my home. Obviously, I carried those magazines like it was about my own life. When I left the high school, my English basis was enough to understand relatively large texts. And I tried to learn more and more. That was useful when I studied journalism. One of my challenges was understanding and translating a 20-page story of Time magazine. It was about the job of CNN during the Gulf War. Eventually, I could understand a full CNN broadcast in English. In my career, I also had the opportunity to work with Canadian bosses. English was a mandatory skill that allowed me to have Matt Summit. He was a Toronto-based stockbroker that came to Peru as a volunteer. He came ignoring Spanish. He returned home. 
is not in Spanish. As said my bosses, the only guy who can communicate to was me. Matt taught me to unfold the tickers of CNBC, and English opened me more doors to information sources. All started with that, with that job of Mr. Talledo, Miss Cruz, and National Geographic magazines. By the way, the order to ease me the magazines was proposed by Mr. Talledo. I never could thank it that Mr. Talledo passed away a couple of decades ago because of cancer. Either I could thank Miss Cruz, but she never confirmed that, that story. However, my source was trustworthy. Miss Cruz passed away recently this October 2023. She was actually and living in my same board. Has any teacher of yours moved the strings to impulse and to promote and to inspire your vocation? Let me know on the comments. Remember, I'm on every social media at Nelson Suyana. Thanks for joining us. Follow the hashtags Life Connection and Nelson Life. From Suyana, Peru, I'm Nelson Peñarrera Castillo reporting. See you in the next Life Connection.